Israel's defense minister has warned that Israel will reply to any further violence launched from the Gaza Strip with aggression, days after clashes at the Gaza border injured five IDF soldiers. We say it again, peace will be met with peace. Any provocation will result in a harsh response. As we have done so far, we shall do in the future. On October 31st, soldiers carried out an operation to destroy a tunnel which stretched from Gazan territory to Israeli towns. The tunnel was discovered last month, and the IDF believes its intention was to launch attacks on Israelis. Hamas militants detonated an explosive device as the IDF soldiers were dismantling the tunnel, and the soldiers then opened fire. Israeli military sources say that four members of Hamas's armed wing were killed in the clash. Following the confrontation, Israel allowed Hamas to retrieve the bodies of two of its downed gunmen. In September, Israel permitted cement and steel deliveries into the Gaza Strip for use by the private sector for the first time since 2007. Then the October discovery of the terror tunnel prompted Israel to freeze the shipment of building materials. We have realized that the concrete that goes into the Gaza Strip, cement or construction materials eventually becomes a means to attack us. I have therefore decided to cease all transfer of cement and all other construction materials into the Gaza Strip. This is the price the population will, unfortunately, pay. The Israeli military says that the discovered tunnel is the third found along the Gaza-Israel border in the past year. According to Israel's defense minister, Hamas is digging tunnels because it faces great difficulties difficulties in carrying out terror attacks on Israel due to the IDF's strong defense system around the Gaza Strip.